Okay, so let's do 228 here. Uh, we have three forces on a bracket here. And we don't know the magnitude of F, but we know it's 30 degrees. And we're trying to find out what is the magnitude of F to make the resultant or all of these vectors added together the smallest on the bracket. So let's continue with that. Um, I think the easiest way is to first add together the two known vectors. We could add them all together, all three of them together at once, but it gets kind of messy. So let's just add together the eight kilonewtons and six kil kilonewtons first on that. So we have six kilonewtons to the right, and we have eight kilonewtons down. And then we're going to get the resultant vector of those two added together. That's going to be this. And we can call it anything we want. We'll call it F prime here. And this angle theta. Theta here. Okay. So we have those two. Um, so the magnitude of F prime is going to be the Pythagorean theorem. Six squared plus, uh, six squared plus eight squared. Uh, and take the square root of the sum of those. So we have six squared plus eight squared, and then the square root of that. So that's 36 plus 64, square root of that, a square root of 100, that comes out to be 10. All right, and to find theta here, to find theta, we can say the tangent of theta, remember that's opposite over adjacent. The tangent of theta is eight divided by six. And if we take the inverse tangent of that, right, we have theta equals the inverse tangent of eight over six, which comes out to be 53.13 degrees, right? So that's that angle, okay. So now that we have those two added together, let's add in F to that. So I'm gonna draw F prime again here. So this is F prime, which is 10. Um, and we're gonna add F to it. And F may look something like this. And if we add those two together, that should be the resultant, the total resultant of the system. And the resultant should be, see if I can draw this. Oh. Draw that again. Okay, so that's the resultant vector, F R, all right? And the goal of this problem is to make FR as small as possible. Well, the tri really the trick of this problem is to realize when is FR the smallest? Well, FR is the smallest when F and FR meet at a 90 degree angle. So, if it's less than 90 degrees, if it's less than 90 degrees, FR starts growing longer. As it comes to 90 degrees, it gets the shortest possible. And then if it's greater than 90 degrees, it starts getting longer again. Okay, so the trick of the problem is to realize that 90 degrees makes FR a minimum here. But we're not done yet. We need to know what this angle is so we can figure out uh, we can figure out what F and FR is. So we know that this angle here, angle at the top, that's the one we just solved for. That angle is 53.13 degrees, okay? And we know F is acting 30 degrees down from horizontal. So let's zoom in there. And let's see if we can draw this out here, zoomed in. Okay, so let's make my, so from horizontal here, 
we know that this is 30 degrees. Okay, so what is this angle up here? Well, that angle, if, you, if we know this angle is 53.13, and maybe you remember this from geometry class. Hi, Murphy. So maybe you remember this from geometry class. If we have two parallel lines and a bisecting line, that this angle is equal to this angle, okay? So if, if we have this line being parallel to this line, we know that this angle here is actually equal to this angle. So that, that angle is 53.13. So this total angle, if we talk about the total angle there, is 53.13 plus 30 degrees which comes out to be 83.13 degrees. Okay, that's the total angle here. All right, let's zoom back out. Okay, so how do we solve the rest of this problem? Well, if we know that this angle is 83.13 degrees, we could use cosine and sine here. So the cosine of 83.13 degrees, all right, and that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is a right angle here, we've already determined that. Adjacent is the magnitude of, of F divided by the hypotenuse, which we found out is 10, and then also we can do the sine of 83.13 and that is equal to the opposite, the magnitude of FR divided by the hypotenuse, which is 10. So using these two equations here, right, we solve this side and then we can just add, multiply 10 to the other side to come up with these solutions. So F, F comes out to be, I just had this written down, I think uh, 1.196 kilonewtons. And FR, the resultant vector, which is at a minimum, comes out to be 9.928 kilonewtons. And that is the solution for 228.